video on simplifying grammar is brought to you by the professional development team at Oxford University Press Pakistan. Broadly categorized, grammar can be taught in two different ways, the inductive approach and the deductive approach. The inductive approach involves discovery of rules through patterns in texts. The deductive approach focuses on explaining the rules and having the students learn to apply them can be taught through the experiential learning cycle which was introduced by Kolb back in 1984. Children are presented with a situation, an experience or a story that they get to reflect upon and observe closely. They begin to understand what they learn from their experience and how they feel about it and they conceptualize and apply what they learn to different outcomes. Lastly, they get to experiment and make a connection with the learning outcomes to recognize the gap between what they know and what they need to learn. The experiential learning cycle is embedded in our book, The Grammar Tree. Here is a grammar function, common and proper nouns. Children are first presented with a story to contextualize what they will be learning. Children love stories, they find them engaging and they find them easy to understand and connect to. Cat is the name of an animal, but cat is not a special name. If, however, you give your pet cat a special name and call it Minnie, that becomes the cat's special name. You then write the name of your cat by using a capital letter as the first letter, Minnie. All the other letters are small letters. Children are then presented with a short sentence, I have a cat called Minnie. The teacher would help contextualize this through the story and ask the children concept checking questions such as, do you have a pet cat at home? What makes your pet cat special? It has a unique name and that name would start with a capital letter. Why are all the other cats referred to as common nouns and written with a small letter. Children will get to tell stories about cats or other animals from their personal lives so that they're able to link learning to examples from their daily experience. Then they move on to reflection and observation on what they have learnt and try and conceptualize the grammar point common and proper nouns in different ways by applying it to, for example, their own names or the names of different kinds of animals, plants, trees, oceans and rivers and so forth. Lastly, they go on to experimenting with what they have learned by completing the hands-on tasks or the exercises given to them in the book. Next, we move on to speaking and listening. Grammar is often played by ear, which means that students learn to discover rules and recognize patterns from what they hear and what they read. This is usually done through peer learning. When children listen to sentences, if they sound odd or incorrect, they're probably incorrect. We go about giving children lots of speaking and listening practice by introducing them to role play which can be in the form of a demonstration or dialogue or drama in the classroom. They could also be given visual prompts through posters, pictures and colourful um, graphs and illustrations to help them decipher what they see and then talk about it in a group discussion. They could also learn through self-correction or by correcting their peers when uh, they get to answer questions or discuss a topic given to them in a group. And then the teacher could help them by assessing learning through concept checking questions. If you wish to learn more about simplifying grammar using our book The Grammar Tree. Please choose from one of our webinars and register on the link below. Thank you.